Hello, um, I'm the illustrator of Holly Webb's brilliant new series, Museum Kittens. Um, book one, The Midnight Visitor, is out. Lots of my black and white illustrations inside. It's a fantastic story. I can highly recommend it. It even has a map at the front. Who doesn't love a book with a map? Anyway, I've come on to this video to talk about a little bit how I came up with a way of drawing Peter who is the main character of this first book. When I first got approached by Strikes Publishing, um, me and my partner were fostering two small black cats who were abandoned. And um, because they weren't getting on with our other cats, they were pretty much confined to my studio the whole time while I was drawing. And inevitably, um, the way these little kittens behaved made their way into the way I was starting to try and draw Peter. Here's a silkscreen print. I did the two of them um, around the time. They were incredibly cheeky and they were always playing with each other and being very naughty. Um, here are some sketches. I don't know if you can see these on the video that I did at the time. And then they started to inform the way I was trying to draw Peter, the character. These are some very early samples I sent the publisher of Peter, how I thought Peter, Peter could look. That one's done from one of the kittens. So, the way I work is um, I work on a light box, so I often scribble um, positions, body positions, and then put a piece of paper over the top so I can draw the features. When I got the job of illustrating Museum Kitten, um, it was decided that my cats needed to look a little bit more baby-like and kitten-like. So here are some examples of Peter from book one. Um, and I tend to draw him over and over again on the light box until I get the character, the characteristics that I like um, in the faces and the expressions that I like. So these are some of the um, pencil drawings that made the their way into the finished um, book with the finished illustrations. Um, here's another one. So I'm just going to quickly show how I decided to draw Peter. The museum kittens are all different. We've got one black, one tabby and white, one white and one ginger. Um, but the illustrations are in black and white so I wanted to make them even more different from each other and I decided to concentrate on shapes. So Peter, I decided predominantly going to be round. So he has round eyes, a round head, um, then I draw his nose, square shape like a rectangle, then his chops go in like that, and I try and get the body shape in. Let's do him creeping along. It can be quite rough. Tail something like that. Legs are a bit rubbish. Um, oh, there's a cat trying to get in. I've locked a cat out because it's disruption central. Um, then I start trying to draw in pencil. So I'm going to try doing that now. Um, so I start with the eyes. This is going to be a bit rough and ready. It's a bit out of practice. Um, where's it going to be looking? Over here. So if I get the eyes right, Hopefully the rest of the drawing follows suit. So I'm I'll start shading in his nose. And then his expression. Oh, he looks a bit perturbed in this one. And then there we go with the shading. Now black cats are quite hard to draw for obvious reasons. Um, so I always try and put a little bit of a highlight on the top of his head, and here we go. Now his face is quite round, I'm going to do his chops, and my favourite thing to do is to add the whiskers. Just bear with me while I shade that in. There is a very hungry cat scratching at the door. I don't know if you can hear him. He starts asking for food at five. 
even though his supper time isn't till six. So my favourite thing to draw is the whiskers and I usually tend to go a bit over the top on the whiskers. And then my art director has to probably um, erase some of them, but I do love putting them in. So the torso is going to come down like that. The elbow is quite important, give it a bit of structure. And then I'm just going to quickly um, add in those feet and legs. I've made him a bit chunky. He's, when Peter arrives, he's a skinny cat, a skinny little kitten. Um, and he arrives in mysterious circumstances in the middle of the night, in the middle of a storm. You're going to have to read Holly's book to find out what happens to him. At first he has a lot of problems fitting in with the other museum kittens. So he really wants to be a museum kitten. And a couple of the others have a hard time accepting him. Which I'm not going to spoil. So talk amongst yourselves while I just fill this in. So normally I would probably do about three or four versions of this and I would just pick the best one and then that would work its way into one of the illustrations. Now I don't know about you but I have a black cat um, who's quite senior, he's about 12, but like a lot of black cats he has, he's jet black all over but he has a few white hairs um, on his chest and I decided that Peter shared this characteristic too. So often I just add a few lines like that and then I'll chop them out in Photoshop and colour them in white and I'll pop them on top of his chest and sometimes I'll just do a few extra whiskers and again I will colour those in white and just put them over his black fur so they're picked out. And that's Peter really, so I um, hope you enjoyed that. And do check out Holly's fantastic new book and you can see that there's lots of great illustrations. Oh, whoops, I shouldn't say that. They're mine. Um, lots of illustrations inside, um, including lots of bits from the museum, including mummies, pharaohs, dinosaurs, and all sorts of mysterious and scary goings on. Okay, thank you.